Hi guys, my name is Jason Lanier. I'm Emily Ronaldo. And we're gonna show you five steps for setting the correct exposure with your camera when using a Rotolite product. Now what you're gonna see is this is a little bit different than how some people might set exposure. One thing that is commonly misunderstood when I shoot with Rotolite is people look at the ISOs and assume the light's not powerful. They assume that because I'll post the settings and it'll say, you know, 2000 ISO, 1000 ISO, 4000 ISO. That has nothing to do with the power of the light. Many of the times when you see that, the light's at maybe 5, 10, 15%. Right now, as we speak, the light's at 40%, and it's seven feet away from us with a diffuser. The ISO is raised to set for the ambient exposure, similar to how a videographer would light. When I light with Rotolite, I'm following the concepts and precepts pretty much of how a videographer, cinematographer would light their scene. So that's why we call it cinematic lighting. And we're gonna show you how to do it. The first thing we're gonna do when we're setting uh, the, the exposure in our camera is we are going to determine what our aperture is going to be. So for shooting a portraiture, we're going to turn that, at least for me, the way that I like to shoot, I'm gonna turn it all the way wide open so I get that separation between my subject and the background. That's why I'm at 1.4. Second thing I'm going to do is um, determine my shutter speed. So my shutter speed, I don't wanna shoot it lower than 1 60th of a second because if I'm shooting anything that's moving, they're going to be blurry. The third thing I'm going to do is set my ISO. Traditionally, we like to have the ISO all the way down to 100. Um, but if it's too dark, that's not going to be possible. So I'm going to bring it up until it looks just about right. And I'm liking it right at 1000 ISO. Even though there's no artificial lighting in our composition yet, the ISO is already at 1000. So that has nothing to do with our artificial lighting. That has everything to do with the ambient exposure. So here's the important part. I'm dark. She's dark, but you don't change that in the camera. You change it with your light. So we're gonna do that right now. You're gonna get your light source as close to your subject as possible. And as you can see, Emily is overexposed. So what's the fix for that? We don't change that in camera, my friends. We change that with the light because our in-camera composition and exposure is already set. Once you set it for the ambient and it looks the way that you want it to look, don't touch it. I'm gonna take down the power of my light. I'm guesstimating here, and I guesstimated really well. <laughs> Look at that beautiful exposure on Miss Emily. See how she's balanced? Now she's balanced with the surroundings. That's how we get everything in exposure, my friends. I don't want to overexpose for those lights. Okay, I don't want them to be too blown out, so I'm going to go from 1000 ISO to 640. Again, exposing for my canvas. So, you know, just kind of take a mental note how far away the light is from her. Right now it's out four feet from her, five feet. So, this car is going to pass and we're heading on out to shoot. One, two, three. One, two, three. Beautiful, Em. Wow. Yes. Okay, we're gonna do the breath. Ready, one, two, three. Do it again, cause you have a car behind you. Wow, that's the best. Above and beyond anything, we just wanted to show you guys how to light with a roto light. And if you follow these, these steps, 
you're going to be very successful with how you light. So let's recap. First thing, find your composition. Find what you want to light. Second thing is, set the ambient exposure with your camera. Now once you've set it for the camera, and you've set it for where you want to shoot, like if, like when I set this video camera up for this background, I set it with the camera first. The lighting has nothing to do with it. The, the road light that's illuminating us has nothing to do with that. Third thing I did was add Emily. Then I add the light. The light is for her. The camera is for the background. Let me repeat. The light is for your subject. The camera is for your background and your ambient. If you can wrap your head around that, and I know you guys can because you're all super smart out there. If you guys can wrap your heads around that, you're going to be much more successful with how you light. So I hope this has helped guys, I really do. Um, you can find Miss Emily where? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at em.explorers. You can find me at Jace Leonard Photography. Don't forget to check out all the stuff that we do. Uh, go to our website, check out our workshop schedule. Don't forget to click on notifications, guys. YouTube's algorithms are crazy. So you never know if we're gonna release a video unless you click on notifications. So do that, hit that little bell, so that way you're notified every time we release a brand new video. We have a lot more videos coming out for you guys. If there's something that you'd like to see in a follow-up video to this, please let us know. Also, please put your comments down below. Let us know what you thought of this shoot. Let us know what you liked, and let us know what you thought, think we can do better. We, we're here to, to really provide education to the photography community, and we wanna do something that's mutually beneficial for us and for you. So until next time. That was very well said. So, next, so until next time, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Find the right gear that works for you. And remember, You'll never have a chance to get it right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.